Joining us, I'm Tristan with Lab Code Agents. I've got Suzanne, I've got Mel. We're talking about homeowner AI. You can see on the background on Suzanne's right. There you go, homeowner.ai. You can take a look at them. They're working with me uh, to create an amazing site, which I call Everything Home. It's still running everything that homeowner AI has built. We just customize the site to make it look like we want to look, right? Just for our people, our past clients, our sphere. We're going to get into how that all looks. And more importantly, I think why it's so important in the current market we're in to shift a lot of our business, to make it more long-term, more nurture relationships for homeowners that then turns into business. Because one thing is very clear that we see has been happening over the last few years is that people are living in their homes longer. And in the more expensive areas, you can take your pick of that, but I'm in LA, Los Angeles. Uh, our, our homes now, our people are living in homes for an average of 18 years. That is a long time. That is a, <laughs> that's a long time. I remember when it used to be six, right? And the problem is that homes are only getting more and more and more expensive. Affordability is becoming a challenge, even with rates dropping a little bit. And that just leaves one thing. It's like, what are we doing to connect with the homeowners? Well, I've been living in the homes for like 18 years in my area. Now, on average, it's 11 now. But what are we doing? Are we doing the same crap that we've been doing for years, which is practically nothing? So that's why I wanted to talk to Suzanne. And Mel, thank you for joining me. And thanks for talking about this. Absolutely. So with homeowner AI, where would we start? Because I also want to show what we've done with everything AI. Oh my goodness. So, so, so happy to be here, guys. I'm so excited to show this to you all, roll this out. Hopefully um, you've had a chance to peruse this website that Tristan has worked so hard with us to build. It is amazing. Um, but we want to show it to you today. We want you to log in if you can, because that's that's the first step, right? Logging in. Um, and Tristan's right. What are what are we doing as professionals to stay in front of our clients for the long term? So I would love to just jump in, if that's okay, Tristan, and, and show them around the beautiful website you put together and uh, then show them how to get into their own dashboard and show them how to get into a consumer portal. Uh, so they can show their clients this fantastic new tool that's going to keep you guys in front of your clients forever and always and build those uh, relationships for life and just stay connected. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wanted to just pull up. I didn't, but I want to pull up a couple of means, you know, lately, if someone calls you, you kind of watch it ring and then you text them back. Or when it's convenient for you, you'll call them and reach out. Well, this is the tool that keeps you guys in front of the consumer when they're not ready to reach out. Right, they're just looking. They want more information. It's at their fingertips now. So with that, I'd love to just jump in. Mel's going to man that chat too. Uh, so if you guys have any questions along the way, please put your questions in the chat. Uh, we'll answer those as we go. And if there's something in the chat going on that we think would benefit the group, we can walk through it together. Uh, Mel will say, "Hey, this is going to benefit the group. Walk through this again, or touch on this again." I'll be happy to do that. So let's jump and in. I have a question before we, before we start ahead. really quick. Do you want people to take a look at homeowner.ai uh, initially so they can see how that looks? Or do you want them to take a look at the site you guys built for me? No, we're going to go everything home today. Everything home. Perfect. Let's jump in. It's just for you guys. Uh, and it, it's even more personal to you all now uh, that you've created this, this new brand. So, all yes, right. you want to perfect. Say, what's up, Jay? How are you doing? Thanks for joining us from Atlanta. Everyone else, let us know what city and state you're from or what country because I know we're spread all over. Uh, yesterday we had uh, 1,200 people on the webinar live, so it was a it was a mess, but a good mess. <laughs> we had people from all over the world, so that was nice. Uh, That's but awesome. let us know, let us know what city and state you're from or country. All right, Suzanne. Now. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on Young for just a second because I'm trying to share my screen and it says I don't have the ability to do that. Oh, so that's if someone could turn on my screen sharing. We're gonna dive right in. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, we're going Let me to do that real quick. Okay. We're going to do a sign language. Uh, <laughs> now, once you see this, this is what it would look like. <laughs> uh, James, what's up, buddy? Appreciate you. Uh, Randy, how are you? Andrew? Andrew, nice to see you again, man. 
All right, awesome. let's see. I'd love to find out where everybody's from. Let's see if that works, Suzanne. Let me know. Oh, we are definitely getting somewhere, Tristan. Okay. So I am going to here. share my Google Chrome. Perfect. You guys let me know if you can see my screen. I see it. This is it. This is it. It's like an, a, an unveil. So I'm so excited. I'm cut the ribbon. Okay. Um, this is your everything home website, guys. And this is specific. This particular page is specific to you as agents. Okay. So if you guys want to throw that, they're going to be throwing a lot of links at you in the chat, but I would love it if you would go ahead and log in. Now I started with the PowerPoint, but I think I'm just going to throw the PowerPoint to the wind because we all are sick of PowerPoints and they're boring. And this is where it's at guys. This is your portal, not only to get in and look around and uh, experience the consumer uh, side of things and then experience your dashboard, but check out all of the tools that you have in this website. You've got videos from Tristan. So although he's blessed us with his presence today in a live fashion, you can always get his thoughts on how all of this works and what it means to you and what it what it does as far as bringing value to you as, as a professional. So how it works is up here, agent benefits, support and training. So there's a lot of videos in the support and training realm as well that are going to walk you through just about every little piece of this. Ah, Check it I out. like how well, like a scroll up. That's Blair. I don't think he knows he's on this. Uh, Blair saying it's amazing. That's so cute. It is. Yeah, Blair was one of our early adopters. So thank you so much, Blair, for getting in there early and giving us some feedback. And um, yeah, I got to get <laughs> uh, featured That's on the awesome. website. Yeah. yeah, Lisa too. Awesome. Yeah, I love Lisa. Nice. All so right. You guys also cool. also have a place to sign in from right here. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what it means to the consumer to have access to this portal that you're gifting them. Um, and as a consumer, you know, I'm a professional, but I'm also a consumer. So I can talk a lot about the things that I love about the platform. This is a gift you're going to give to your client. And this is the consumer experience, guys. When they log into this portal, this is what they're going to see. Okay. They're going to be able to see their dashboard. So all of the things in the portal are on the dashboard immediately. So they don't have to go to a bunch of different places to look around, although every panel that they click on in here is gonna take them to a more detailed page. So the consumer can click all these different call to actions. They can immediately see their home value. And the best part about this guys is that you're going to be able to track, and it's not creepy at all, you're gonna be able to track what your clients are doing in their portal. So again, if they're not ready to reach out with a phone call or an email, they're just looking around to see as much information and get as much education about their home as possible. Um, you're going to be able to see what they're doing and what they're thinking about and what they're looking about. So that gives you guys an opportunity to reach out to them or, you know, when they're ready, they're going to reach out to you because guess what? Your information is on the dashboard in a digital business card. Okay. So the, the agent, the loan officer, uh, the concierge, whatever you guys want to have in this portal for them will be shown and they can very easily send an email when they're ready. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, perfect. And for, those, for those of you wondering, because well, we've got two sets of people here. Um, we've got some that are inside of our organization, right? So with me, uh, for if you're with me in our org, right? Brokerage team, whatever. We, we've included in this, right? So you, you guys are all part of this already. Uh, and I know some of you haven't logged in. So please, please log in. Just reach out to James. If you're not with us, that's fine. This is available to you too. And this is what we're showing you, what we've built. So I just wanted to interrupt you on that one, Suzanne. So continue. Thank you for that. No, let's answer questions along the way. I love it. Um, that way, you know, people can actually try to log in in this, you know, 30 minute time slot we have on your Wednesday, just log in and look around. Getting getting logged in to look around is, is really half the battle, right? But as a consumer, when I get access to my portal, I was thrilled to immediately see my home's current value and my equity. Okay, so that's just one of my favorite pieces of this as a consumer. Um, my home maintenance tasks are on here so I can see my home value. I can keep track of the systems in my home that need maintenance. So we don't have a catastrophe at some point when the water uh, heater blows. Um, keep up with your maintenance items in this portal as well. Um, you can look at ways to in improve the home, the value drivers, 
this visualize home improvements, guys, this will give your consumers a way to take a picture of their space and then try some redesign ideas in here. This is super fun. So I encourage you to play with that. Uh, docs yeah. and info. So I, instead of tracking down all my invoices or receipts uh, for when, when I had my garage door replaced or when I had my water heater replaced, I can keep all my important documents in my portal. And then mm -hmm. when I need to go back to something and remember what did I do or when did I do uh, each of these services, the documents are in here. And then I don't have to go searching for pieces of paper around my house and my junk drawers. Okay? There's also an enormous amount of education for the homeowner. And I'll tell you guys, even though I've been in the industry for a very long time, when I bought my first home, I still felt kind of clueless. I, 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 I still think that borrowers just don't have a clue and this is a way to educate them. So I'm going to point out That's some of my point. favorite pieces so, here. Go ahead. One of, I, I want to interrupt you really quick because it, you, bring up, you bring up a great point. Um, when I've purchased my homes, I'm a real estate agent and I purchased my first and my second or and, and other homes. I still felt clueless about the home. Like, okay, yeah. like, did I miss something here? What am I, what am I missing? It's like, I'm getting acclimated. So one of the things I love about this is Randy brought up a good point, which is, can we bulk invite our clients? So they've been in the home, let's say for a year, two years, they still probably want to have a place that's a hub for them where they can upload, like you said, documents, right, mm -hmm. Suzanne? They yes, can just like your medical portal, portal, just like your doctor's portal or your vet. Yes. You have all this in that centralized place. And guys, when it, when it comes to uh, a competitive advantage, this is a competitive advantage for you. Um, but also, this just feels a lot more personal to me. So I can always stay in touch then with my agent too. So I can look and I can, you know, not really talk to anyone, <laughs> but when I'm ready, my agent's right there or my loan officer's right there and I can reach out and I have a question and you're going to, you guys are going to get notified. Okay. You're going to get notified of activity on a weekly basis. You don't have to always log in to see activity and this is set it and forget it. So you're going to log, uh, load in your, your, your contacts. You're going to invite your consumers to these hubs. Make sure you let them know it's coming, but it's a, it's a wonderful gift. And, um, you know, then it's a set it and forget it type system because it's going to automatically send them emails on a regular basis to say, here's your current home value, or maybe you have a maintenance task coming up. Let's make sure to, uh, you know, clean out our filters on our, on our dryer or our washing machine. So important to clean those filters. And a lot of people just don't know. Um, in fact, I had my washing machine went out I called somebody to service it. And what did they do? They showed me that the filter hadn't been cleaned out. So, so much education in here for the homeowner. Um, and I can make a task list too. So let's just quickly start with, take it from the top and work our way down. Finances is immediately where I went as a consumer to see my home, my home value. I know that it's coming from four different places. So you can actually see the home value on these four different sites and four different um, data sources and you can see where we're getting that average, okay? Also in my finances area, my mortgage balance was over here. Um, my loan, my lender was over here. Um, my interest rate wasn't exact, so I could just click in here and update my interest rate. I did get locked in at that two and five eights back in 2020, so I'll be in my home for a while, but if they've paid more on the principal, they can update mm -hmm. their, their final balance too, so they can keep track of all that here. Got it. Now, this is a long page, but I'm going to point out my favorite things as I scroll down. Current home equity. Boom. You sold your home now. This is how much you take from the sale. That's exactly oh. what I wanted to know, guys. And I had been wondering for months. And then, boom, I have it now available to me. And I check this almost every other day. Is there yeah, another like question, it. Tristan? Um, yeah. In, in regards to... If you scroll up on the value, I like how you have the options right there from those four, Adam Plunk, CoreLogic, and Zillow, not just Zillow, right? So I think that's important as well. Just very. Because you can, it's very nice to be able to compare and you don't have to go to a bunch of different places. That's what we all want, right? Um, what happens if I click on update value, like replace it with my own value? What happens then? Yeah, they have some sexy functionality in here um, to oh, play yeah. with the different items and, um, you know, they'll be able to adjust, but really they're going to reach out to you guys as the agent to really find out um, and get an estimate, get an actual valuation, and you're right in front of them to do that. Cool. 
All right. Now, every, every time they click on something, guys, you're going to see that activity too. You're going to see in the activity, they clicked on this. They were looking at this and what they're doing in the portal. So you've got market insights. Look at this inventory. Okay. Median list price, inventory, all of these insights are in their portal for them. So I'm going to scroll down. This, this makes page, it look right? like I'm looking at the stock market daily. Can you can you scroll up a little bit? I actually sure. hadn't seen this. Did you guys it was this always here? Because then I'll feel like an idiot. Was this always here? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, so, it's been here since I've been here, Tristan. Oh, damn it. So okay. cool. This yeah. is cool. I know. Home oh. comparison. So how many bedrooms do I have? How many bathrooms do I have? And how does that compare to the other homes in the neighborhood? So very Got insightful. It. You can get a snapshot for today's current rates. Now, guys, this is another fun, like if they hover, they can isolate the different types of mortgage programs. Um, and again, this isn't scenario specific, but it gives them a teaser rate to say, here, here's where we are about today, right? And I, uh -huh. I love that this is coming down from that seven, almost down to six. Let's scroll down just a little bit more. This is what you've paid. Again, this is a key point to educate consumers, principal, interest, how much are they going to spend over the life of the loan on interest? And um, this is what you've paid so far. Okay. Ways to save money. This is the refinance section. So today this might look a lot, look like a lot of red, but imagine if those rates continue to come down a little bit, um, but you're going to see more green. So if I could get into a 10 year fixed, I would do that all day long. And then they can also mm. play with this slider. So how long are they going to be in the home? And you'll see those numbers move. Mm, like if you've got 15 years left on your mortgage, but you want to refinance for another 30, you're like, oh, here it is. Yes. This is good. Um, I I feel like things changed, Suzanne. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't I don't remember this. <laughs> you know, we've made a lot of improvements this year, Tristan, and we this do that based cool. on customer feedback. So, you know, we're always listening to our customers and enhancing the platform. So don't feel bad if you're seeing some things for the first yeah. time. Yeah, this is these. another one of my favorite sections. Um, guys, educate your con your consumer on making a little bit extra payment a month on a principal and seeing how much that shaves off of that mortgage. This is a, something not ever, uh, just people are clueless about. I even started making extra payments just to take two, four, five years off my mortgage is huge. And it tells you right here how much you would save if you were to do that. They can also play with this. Look at that calculate. I love that piece. Take cash out of your home. I've got some equity. I've got a kid going to college soon. So I might look into that, mm. but this is so insightful and so helpful. And I just fell in love with this. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the finances page and this is the consumer experience again. So remember, once you get this to your, your homeowners, um, you'll be able to just walk them through. And it's, you know, it's very self-explanatory as well. Now, when we move into the management section, this is where your consumers are going to be able to make a honeydew list for all of the systems in their home. And then it's going to give them a to-do list. And who doesn't love a, a checklist where you can mark things as completed, right? Now, if there's something that you need serviced and you don't want to do it, you can also click do it for me. Because the other beautiful part about this portal is that you guys have access and the consumers have access to all of these service providers in this portal. And that's going to take us into mm -hmm. this next item home services so all the service providers are here you guys can also recommend your fav your favorites now as a consumer i don't i want to go to google or thumbtack and, and do all that legwork i don't have time for that ain't nobody got time for that but if i have a portal mm -hmm. and my agent has recommended these services i'm going to go straight to these service providers every single time because i trust her she knows mm -hmm. better than i do right you guys are the experts i I trust you to tell me which service providers, uh, you know, you recommend, you uh, have experience with, and you trust. So I'm going to do that all day long. So you guys can recommend your service providers in here. And then as a consumer, I can reach out and request service from straight in the portal, guys. All right. I like Next this. Is this is probably one of my favorite features right here before you leave. It is. You so love this is... part. Yeah, because there are... so. This these are all amazing features, but I'm always thinking as a real estate agent and 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 entrepreneur, I'm like, how can I get people into this so that I can then transition them into working with them long term relationship wise? And so far, you've shown me probably two main things where I can put it into a letter or 
a postcard with a QR code and saying, hey, here's your homeowner hub community, right, that I'm mailing to. And another separate one is I've got amazing relationships with home service providers, scan here and sign up for free, right? So, so far you've given me two really good options. I mean, there are more, but those are the two that stand out. Yes. And I didn't even know, you know, my agent's, my agent's a great person, great friend, lover to death, but I really didn't even know that I could go to her for her recommended service providers. Yeah, it was kind true. of like, you know, you close on my home and you're like, see ya. Okay. Good luck. Well, she's there for me, but, um, you know, I didn't have a portal like this until I came to homeowner AI. So. All right. So some questions before you go, um, All right. we've got, uh, Greg, what's up, Greg, uh, can we, as agents go in and add task service providers, documents, or adjust uh, the home value? Can we do that as agents? Can you adjust the home value in the portal? Mel, can they actually manually adjust the home value in the portal? Yes, you can go in and manually adjust it, but because we pull our, our AVM data for those monthly reports from the average of what's in there, um, that's what's gonna be displayed in the emails that go out from the system. Got it. And yes, you can upload documents, uh, Greg, and definitely service providers. In fact, we encourage that because we want to make this very unique to us, right? To our community, to the people we've worked with. And these are being pulled out. If you don't add anything, there will still be service providers there that yes. that uh, homeowner AI has made partnerships with and that they vetted, right? And pulled out. So don't worry, they're still in, in there as well. And then last question, Susan says, is there an article or resource that gives a list of typical things in a house that should be maintained or scheduled or anything along those lines? Yes, absolutely. So in order for them to, to create this honeydew list in the management area, what they're gonna do first guys is they're gonna go to my home and they're gonna see the items that they can use to set up their home inventory. Okay, so this is where they're going to be able to add the different systems, click on an item, add the item, give us a little bit more information about what type of the, you know, what kind of item it is. Oh, I missed my top load dish, uh, wash machine for sure. So they'd click whatever wash machine they type they have, what brand it is and then tell us how old it is. See, we're doing all this for them. They don't know, right? And finish. Mm -hmm. And then these are the things that you need to make sure and do on a regular basis. They can control which ones to add to the list or not, and they can save. And that's gonna create their task list, guys. That's gonna do it. So they are not that. coming into this blind. We're giving them all the information really that they need. This actually is really good because at the closing, we could have someone as, as you grow and you have a team right or your admin i don't know right i don't know your current situation but i know what i'm thinking suzanne at the closing i can go through with someone on the team that can go and check off these things and upload them and say hey this is what we've got and now right. this is a more complete hub that is going to increase my chances of the homeowner visiting often and that's yes. what i want Yes. And, and this is their, this is their user manual for their home. You know, they don't, you don't close and then go, okay, here's your keys. And here's your manual for everything. This is it. This is it now. And this is also this, my home area guys is also where they're going to have access to keep track of those documents. They can keep it organized with different folders so maybe you have, you know, your closing docs in here, your, your inspection, your survey, all those documents, you know, your receipt for, um, or the invoicing for your new floors or windows or whatever. This is where you can even upload documents for them in here. Okay. A couple of additional things I wanted to just touch on home improvements. You can kind of play around and see how much you could improve that home value by um, adding, you know remodeling the bathroom or adding an, another bedroom and things like that. So this is where they can really play with what it would look like if I were to make some home improvements. I'm definitely need to remodel my bathroom so that I can just tag that. 
This is nice. where you can do that design um, where you can pick up, you can even upload an image and, and do some redesigning for your backyard landscape or your kitchen or what have you. So try that out. You guys are going to be able to have your own search site in nearby homes. So we're going to click on this and it's going to take you to whatever search site you have put in there. Okay. And you guys can configure this in your profile in the nearby homes. Let me just go back here. Uh, knowledge center, again, so much education for the homeowner that they didn't even know they need, right? They don't know what they don't know. So look at the knowledge center where they have access to all these articles about owning their own home, buying and selling, designing and furnishing. So it's, it's just a huge information center. And again, they are a lot of times just clueless. All right. So let me jump into your experience, guys. This is the homeowner portal. This is their hub. So you're going to walk them through this at closing or whenever you get this portal to them. But okay. what does it look like when you log in? Okay. It looks like this. You guys are going to see your very own dashboard where you can track how many contacts you have, how many hubs you have, and check this out. Total home value and estimated commission potential. These numbers are huge for you guys. Okay. Boom. It's right here. Think about all the homes that you have in the system, all of your hubs, all of your clients in this area, and you're managing their experience for the hub. You're able to view the invitations that you've sent to see if they're reviewed, onboarded. Mm -hmm. You can even see the ones that bounce. Maybe they change jobs. They have a new email address. So you can see that. But guys, mm -hmm. this, is, this is really the key here. Hub activities. Okay. And you're going to get an, an email summary on a weekly basis with this information. So you don't have to always come into your dashboard and check it out, but you can mm -hmm. immediately see the hub activity. Now, do they reach out to you? Maybe not all the time, right? Again, they're, people don't want to enter their phones or enter their doors these days. Um, they just want to reach out when they're ready to talk. But you can see if they visited a hub, if they joined the hub, if they viewed service providers. You can see all of this. You can reach out if you want and say, hey, I see mm -hmm. you're, che you're checking out, uh, you know, air conditioner or service providers. How's it going? But these are connections with your clients without transacting and without having to really talk to anyone, but they're connecting with you every time they visit the hub. Every time. This is your connection to them for all, forever and always. And that's what I love about this. You know, I can clearly see, this is a demo account, but you can clearly see that you're having connections with all these clients and you can see, you know what they're thinking. It's wonderful. All right, so if you wanted to dive a little bit deeper, now on the dashboard, you can get to everything, but you can dive deeper into my hubs. You can see the hubs. You can click into the hub and you can see that client experience. Okay. You can always search and create a new hub. Guys, what I want you to do, if you've never been in here before, create a hub for yourself. That's what got me hooked. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm such a fan. Yep. Create a hub for yourself or, or a friend or, you know, a family member and just get, let them see the experience. But when I, I got a hub created for myself and I was like, yes, I love all this information. This is exactly it. I visit my hub, like I said, almost every other day. So you can see all your hubs in here. You can see your contacts. Guys, it's so easy to get your contacts in here and uh, get consumers invited to hubs. We have a lot of support articles to help you too. But if you want to just export a file for, of your contacts and email it to us, we'll clean it up. We'll dedupe it. We'll we'll do all the heavy lifting for you guys. Send us your file and let us do it for you. Okay. There's all kinds of ways for you to add or invite your, your contacts to hubs if they're not already. But if you import your contacts and you don't invite them to a hub, well, then you, you just have contacts in here and they're not experiencing the joy of the hub. So that's the connection, guys. You got to have your consumers in a hub. Invite them to a hub. They're going to get those regular email notifications, set it and forget it. All of that. So hub, hubs, contacts, landing pages. Really, you guys have access to really, landing pages. Really quick and, on that before you go to, I, I'd like to see the landing pages, but really quick, uh, just a reminder, everyone, now that uh, we're transitioning into this whole new world, I do see a lot of teams and agents focusing more on listings because obviously uh, the obvious with the NAR settlement, I'm not saying don't work on buyers because I do think that is an opportunity for those who figure it out well. But this hits the core of where the industry is going to head, which is more listings, longer term relationships with homeowners that then can turn into business because 
not only do they become the sellers of these homes, but we get them on the buying side as well. So uh, when you look at this as this now serving central as a central part of your business, now you can start saying, okay, I, I understand. I do want as many homeowners on this as possible. This is why we've shifted some of our marketing for our mailers, our letters, to have these QR codes, to bring in people, to be able to experience this. And this way, there's a there's a point of conversation for me and say, hey, have you been on or have you had the chance to? And this this changes it. This is value driven. Anyway, that's why I'm Yeah, and to your point, because... Tristan, I came back, I came back around to the dashboard to show you not just activity, but leads. Specific leads are all grouped together. This is money, guys. You are so money and you don't even know it. Okay. So lots of good things in the dashboard. The landing pages. This is super fun, guys. You can create your own landing pages. Um specific to you. Let me just show you a preview of what this looks like. And it's so easy to create. I can preview a landing page. And this is something that you can create and you can put on your social. Um, you can just put it anywhere, put it on your own website if you want to. Oh, this is an opening for me. It's okay. It's just a landing page that says, enter your address and you're, you're in a portal. You're in your hub. That's all they have to do. I'm going to try another one real quick. Okay. Here's an example. So you guys can so, put your own colors. You can put your own logo, your contact information and everything. And then. This is where the QR code would land. So when you put it on any of your marketing pieces, this is where it would land. And then, you know, you can then capture them and then they automatically go into the hub. That's the idea. That's right. That's right. Love the landing pages, but I definitely want to uh, get into wrap up mode guys with the service providers. So this is where you guys will be able to see the service providers and recommend your favorites. Okay. And again, your homeowners are going to go to the service providers that you trust. I, I guarantee it. So just come into your service providers and click, um, See, these are all recommended by me. The org as a whole can recommend service providers, but you're going to see, you're just going to be able to click and, and recommend those service providers. You also be able to add your own service provider if needed. Okay. So if you, which I would uh, recommend. Yeah. 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 This is something again, that the homeowners just don't, don't understand. I didn't know I could go to my agent and get in touch with her trusted service providers. Um, so you guys can definitely put your own service providers in here, recommend your favorites. And those are the ones that are going to show up at the top of the list for the client. All right. Wrap up mode. So now we have only have 30 minutes and we're kind of a little bit over time, but I would love to field any more questions you guys have. If you want to log in and see what you can see, uh, log in, take a look at your dashboard, create your first hub for yourself or a family member or a friend today. I immediately created a hub for one of my friends to just because I was excited. I was like, take a look at this. Um, but yeah, let's, let's feel questions put, at this point. I, I definitely want you guys to log in and start creating hubs. Yeah. I have one of my agents doing really well with this. He understood it, right? He's relationship focused. And he's like, this is the best thing ever. Our clients are actually logging in. I'm like, yeah, cause you're doing it right. That's why. <laughs> That's right. And guys, yeah, they don't, so, I, I get, so I'll, as a consumer, I'll get those automated emails and I just click the button in the email and it takes me right to my pub. So I don't even feel like I have to find a, a username and password, which, boy, another username and password. Yeah, they do have to set up and log in the first time, but when I get the emails, I just click right into it. Yeah. And look, a lot of the times you're going to be the one adding them. So you you could just send them a link and then they can sign up themselves, right? Or you can just do a mass upload and the, then they'll have to sign up and add their own thing. But if they're going coming in through the QR code, then they set up, I think it's the their own phone number. So it's even easier. They won't forget their phone number as their yep. login. So. Super easy to create yeah. a hub though. It walks you through every step of the way, guys. It is so intuitive. It is so user-friendly. I definitely want you guys to log in and peruse if you get a chance today. Um, yeah, 
And then one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your profile up correctly. That means headshot, contact information. Okay. This is where you also put in your listing website right here. So whatever that is can go there. You guys can even link it to your socials. Okay. So just make sure you set up your profile correctly. So your pretty face shows up in that uh, digital business card in their hub for them to see. And they know it's from you. This is also a great place, okay. guys, to configure your email notifications, right? Anytime you get set up with a new software, you want to go uh, determine what emails you want to want to see and what emails you don't want to see. So this is personal for you. Configure your email notifications right here in your profile. Yeah, somebody, uh, one, of my, one of the people on the webinar right now said um, the hub invites sometimes are going to spam. So what you might want to also let people know is like, just check your spam, right? Yeah, Easy. I had my consumer invitation didn't go to my spam, but I feel like my pro invitation or one of uh, a few of those emails might have landed in my spam. So I think it just, I think it just depends on what day it is and what color outfit you're wearing. <laughs> That's funny. Well, listen, Suzanne. I'm always wearing a black t-shirt with jeans, though. I'm out of <laughs> luck. <laughs> That's very funny. So you uh, all right, any questions? Experience. Any questions, comments, uh, concerns, or burning desires? We got Andrew Burr. To be clear, everything home is for Tristan's team only, correct? I would be looking for homeowner AI. Um, Suzanne. Yeah, so we actually gave everybody access yesterday. So you guys, about 1.30 Central yesterday, you all should have received, as long as you're on the roster upload, you all should have received an invitation to this system and to this platform. So if you didn't, let us know, okay? If you want to get access and don't have access, guys, you can always come to this everything home, agent sign in, sign right up. And yes, the, the QR code that, that Tristan was talking about, let me just share that with you guys. Okay. Here's that QR code. And then please email support at homeownerai.ai if you have any questions. Okay. You can also email me and you can email Mel. We're here to support you. If you have any questions, if you're not seeing an invitation or you're struggling with logging in, or you just have questions about importing contacts or sending us a file to upload, um, we're, we're here for you guys. Okay. I love that. Never have Mel, a chance thank to take you a so much. That. Yeah, take a picture of that. Mel, are. thank you so much for for helping out with the comments. I appreciate that. And Suzanne, yeah, if they have questions, hit up support. If you get lost, just hit me up. I'll guide you in the right direction. I just got uh, this email so I don't lose it because I know some of you will reach out to me. And Ronald looks like he's got a question there. So we can, you guys can email him or Ronald, you can email support at homeowner.ai and they can help you out. Suzanne, thank you so much for doing this, Mel. Thanks for helping out and everyone else. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to keep on doing this monthly as this grows so we can show you where we're heading and how we're using it as well. Wonderful. Tristan, thank you so much for your support and your guidance and your hard work on this website for everybody. Um, we are just super thrilled to partner with you. So we really appreciate you. Thanks everybody for joining the webinar. Log in, have fun.